Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This is a Jujube haul. Jujube had a warehouse sale recently. Um, about a bunch of things right before I left and they were here waiting for me when I got back. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. The first item I got is a B set in the Harry Potter Herbology. I, I didn't go big on this pattern in general. I think I bought like one thing. But I got a B set for me and a B set for my sister-in-law. This is mine. Um, hers is in her gift pile for later. She had a birthday last uh, last week. Happy birthday again, Dom. Um, it comes with a bookmark. It's a Harry Potter standard. They have the bookmark that comes with the items and the tags. And the zipper pull is a little book, the Herbology book. And the other one is just the round with the Harry Potter glasses and the lightning bolt and then Harry Potter, or sorry, Wizarding World. Harry Potter on the back. Um, it is Jujube standard B set. So it has the locking zippers on the large set piece. It has the two rings on the ends, double zipper. <coughs> Excuse me. Inside of course is a medium and small set piece. The medium is single zipper, but double loop. And the small is single zipper, single loop on the end. It comes with a short strap and a long strap. The long strap is adjustable and can be used to make either the medium or large into a crossbody bag if you so desire. And of course, the short one could be a wristlet on anything, any one of them that you like. Um, pattern placement wise, okay, so herbology, it's the plants, right? So on this side, we've got uh, Dittany, Venomous, Tentacula, mandrake we've got some mushrooms mistletoe we've got the whomping willow over here so just really fun stuff it is a variety um you don't get everything on this side i have saint john's warts mistletoe mandrake leaping toadstool a little bit different variety and i don't even know the name of that thing and then um middle set piece middle medium set piece i got a lot of the same parts of the pattern also, Nimbulus Mimbletonia, Rosemary, yeah. And then on the small set piece, also has Sage, Gillyweed, there's the Gillyweed. Yeah, so a good variety of things. Now, the interior pattern is a very light um, tan color, it's neutral, but it has each of the plants on like a, like a playing card size thing, so I think that's really cool. It's a nice pattern, honestly, that I even maybe would like that as an exterior pattern potentially. But there you go. That's the interior and all the straps. We put the tags inside and for now, store it like that. So that's cool. The other thing I got is the Bestie in Queen of the Nile. Now, I don't think this came out with the release of the Queen of the Nile. I'm quite sure. Sure it didn't but clearly it did come out I don't know when because as far as I know I don't have one if I do well that'll be a good gift it'll roll over but these are great little bags so it can be top handle carry it has a crossbody shoulder strap or you can make it into a little backpack you could do it as a belt bag it's just multifunctional and it's a great size it's a it holds a lot more than you think it's just triangular shape there um, it is bigger than the mini BFF and smaller than the BFF, so it's that middle size, which is perfect, especially if you want to do like my niece and I did mini me um, with the bestie and the mini BFFs for her. But this one is big enough to fit a small set piece in the front pocket. You could have fit a couple of them. You could use your coffee break, things like that. But this one is the Queen of the Nile version 2, so it has that silver interior, which is, of course, my preference. But there you go. Front pocket single zip, main pocket double zip. It does have gussets on both sides. When you have things in it, it stands up much better. Has elastic mesh on the front and a privacy zipper on the back. There's the seat belt strap that it comes with, removable and adjustable. No pad on it or anything, but it works great. So that is the bestie. And there you go. These are fun. I really like them. I need to go check my collection and see if I got it. Then I ordered these little blankets, and I forget what they were called, a cuddle or something. 
I, th I knew they were small, but I kind of thought that they were a little bigger. Like Kelly has a dog size one that's probably like yay big, that would have been perfect. But these are about half the size I thought they were. They're so cute and very soft. I mean, if you have an itty bitty baby, I guess you could swaddle them in that. It's, it's, it's almost like a fabric sample to me. It's so tiny. I love it. I, I'm glad I got two because I got them for Kelly. I thought, okay, so Kelly has blankets and stuff all over. She has a lot of her own things. Um, but once it has her scent and my scent on it, I can just lay the blanket down, like her travel one that I was talking about, and I can just lay it down and she knows that's her spot. Like it gives her a comfort thing and she can, she'll just lay on that spot, which is cool. Um, and these are super soft, so they'd be perfect for that. And I thought, well, it's white on one side, maybe not optimum. But anyway, I thought if I got two, worst case, one in the trailer, one at home, or I could sew them together and then it would be gray on both sides, but it would be double thick. Anyways, none of that's happening. I don't know what I'm going to do with them now. They, you could use it as a placemat, but it's not really placemat material. Anyway, it's, um, it's going to take two to make a space big enough for my dog because she's not little. But they are super cute. And they have Jujube embroidered on the corner. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. The other option is just to hang on to them and gift them to friends or family that has babies. And I do have a new great nephew coming. Just found out. So maybe I'll just save it and send it to them. I don't know. I don't know. All right. The last thing I got in the basic order, because I, I got some blind boxes too, but I got the pajamas. These are the, I don't know what the name is. They're the Jujube Jams, Daddy Jams, and they're in the holiday pattern. I forget what it's called, but I got the daddy version because it was the size I needed and what was available, but I also liked this. You couldn't get this in the girls, so I got it in the boys. So it's a nice, plain, super, super soft, these shirts. These pajamas are so comfy, and they're not overheating because they're really thin, but they are so comfortable, so soft. I just love them. Um, and they're very forgiving fabrics as well. So they'll keep you warm, but not overheat you. So this one's just a long sleeve. Um, has button down neck whatever but super cool I think it's plenty feminine honestly and then the pants are stripes like candy canes green and green red and white it's an off-white but they're so cute so it has an elastic waist with the drawstring hugely important and then it has little lo loose cuffs on the bottom but I got them too big for me because that's how I roll but so comfy I have these same style in um, women's and men's and a couple other patterns. So now I have a third set of GGB pajamas and oh, they're so soft. I kind of want to just curl up and go get in there. All right, now this is exciting. I've only gotten one blind box from GGB before and it was okay, but really not my thing because I either had everything or things I wouldn't have bought. This time went a little better. I, I saw a lot of people's blind boxes. So thank you all for sharing them. I will post mine as well to the website, but for now, let's take a look at them. I am pretty happy with them overall. I do think they're good value. Um, yeah, so the first is the small blind box. So, and, and it shows in the picture online, it's a white box, obviously. I don't care what the box looks like. Inside, I got a coin purse. This is, I'm not gonna remember the name, but it's the butterfly pattern which is colorful, black with bright colors. That's up my alley. This piece is small, so you, it's hard to even tell they're butterflies, I've, but you can, you can tell. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I love the coin purses. I don't have anything in that pattern. And um, this is an interesting piece. Uh, it sort of seems like a random, odd, accidental thing. This is a, it's, it's a long strap, so I don't know if it's from a Be Quick or perhaps a large set, you know, a B set, the, the long strap. It looks like it'd be quick, but it's really long. Anyways, it's a strap and it's in that dotted, the one with the roadrunner looking birds, the dot, or I forget the names of it. I'll put all the names down below as always. Um, but yeah, so it's just a long strap. I don't have anything in that pattern. I have other things that will match this and it came with a be quick 
This is the emboss collection in the mineral, I want to say. And it came with both straps, the short and the long. But this gray, even, so this colorful strap, even though it's tan, it could totally go with that and just liven up the colors, maybe. Um, so it's a neutral gray, but the emboss, I like that it's super slouchy, the emboss collection. Um, it has black or gunmetal hardware. And then inside, it's sort of a, I don't know, is that their champagne? It's like a silvery, it's kind of a mix in between silver and gold. But anyways, there it is. And I'm happy with it. Uh, the Be Quicks are great. They're great for little pouches. You can use them as a, a little bag. Yeah. Okay. I, it, so I think it's a Be Quick strap. I, I don't, it came by itself. Okay. Then I got the Eco pouch. That's not what it's called. It's the little Eco crossbody. And it's in black, obviously. But this is made from recycled stuff. So it's waterproof and machine washable. And it's... Pretty good weight it has the long zipper pulls with the hinged zippers which is cool so it's definitely got peace it's got a front zipper pocket I'm not really fond of these metal zippers honestly they're like the Vera ones that we hate so much but for a small piece okay so you can get your fingers down in there it's a small pocket and then you could do it as a belt bag a crossbody whatever it has a slip pocket on the back which is where I would put my phone, which is perfect, quick access. And then inside you have one, two, three, three card slots on this faux leather back piece. And then it's just a pouch. So it has a good amount of space for a little bag. It's kind of like, oh, what is it called? Um, I don't remember the name of it, sorry. There's a bigger, one that's kind of this configuration. But the strap is seatbelt material, it's removable, adjustable, it has robust clips on it. It also comes with a shorter strap that's a chain, like a gold chain, and so you can put that on either decoratively or as the actual handle, so just like a little carry handle. So that's kind of cool too. Yeah, but a great little, this is gonna be awesome for travel for sure. And just every day. This is another bag that, oh, those zippers. You have to be careful, straight. Okay. Um, bag in a bag. So if you have just a, a phone and your little wallet or a zip ID or whatever and chapstick, you can put a few things in there and that could be a grab and go piece. You can make it a wristlet strap. You can make it a crossbody. You can do whatever. So that's fun. Um, it also came with a one of a kind pink lady Jujube Star keychain. This is a silver one. I think the other one I have is like a rose gold. And the last item in this surprise box is a midi. And this, oh gosh, I've forgotten all the names. But this is that um, off-white with the blue stripes. I have this in the Super B and the B set, so perfect. I had considered getting it in the midi, actually, when this came out. But I didn't because... I'm all OCD about stripes and stuff, but this actually lines up pretty close, and so I, I can live with it. it this is this, just off. I'm like, what? But the opposites, that kind of works, so I think I can overlook it. I think I can make it work in my head. And it's just a, a midi, so you got the strap, you've got the seatbelt straps, they're adjustable, they have the closed loop adjustments. It's got the hinged zippers on this one, actually, with the faux leather ribbon zipper pulls. Inside is golden. You have a privacy zipper, you have a big slip, and then in front of that you have two smaller slips. Nothing on the front, but the bag is a perfect backpack for a purse, for day trips, for park bag, for all those kinds of things. This is really great. And then the zippers. There you go. The hardware is gold too, by the way, so it kind of ties with the interior. So sort of a classy, elevated look to that. Um, let me put this away. In the box for now. And then we got the large box. Now, the large box um, obviously had a lot more potential, but if you were to add up the dollars for the cost of these, we'll put it down below, and the MSRP for these items... It's a pretty good bargain, um, for sure. 
Now, it may not be the things you would buy, or it would be the style you'd buy, but in a different color or pattern. That's the case with this next item. I, I don't know my dog's barking. Hey! She's right outside the window barking at I don't know what. Okay, so this is the first item. It's the snake skin pattern. It's very lovely. It's, it's faux leather. So it's very, you know, environmentally friendly or whatever. And it is very pretty. It's a very classy bag. I want to say this is the 24-7 tote. I could be wrong about the name. But let's pull everything out. Um, okay. So let's take a look at this. I actually have been thinking about getting one of these, just not in this pattern. And it comes with a lot of extra bits and bobs here. Just have to get everything off. Okay. So, first of all, I mean, it's a it's a lovely purse, right? It's a great size, medium to large for sure. It's It's got its own form. It's pretty rigid, actually. But it does have a zipper closure on the top. It's a flapped closure. And the zipper goes beyond, so when you're not using the zipper closure, you can let those flaps lay flat and just have quick access inside the bag. The bag has a lot of organization, so big privacy zipper on that side, that is the back. In front of it, you have two big slips and a small card slot there. Um, you could fit multiple things in there. You probably could fit a coffee break in there. I don't have one handy, but I think you can. On the other side, you have another privacy zipper and two more slips. You have a key strap, a key clip. It's not bungee, but it's a strap, and you can just put that inside. And then you have your two carry handles, of course. You have your removable, adjustable strap to carry a shoulder crossbody. You got that. You've got the hand sanitizer holder bag charm which is really cool. And you can also, has a key ring on there too. So that's cool. It is empty, but you can put your own sanitizer of choice in there. Or you can put lotion in there or whatever you prefer, you know, sunscreen or take the bottle out and use it for other, other things like your AirPods or whatever. It also comes with a changing pad and it is a pretty thick pad actually. And it's just the um, tan and the black, but it's a full-size pad, so you could use it for all the things you use the changing mats for. You could obviously use it to change your baby. I don't have a baby. So I don't know what I'll use it for, but there you go. You can use that. The bag itself does not have feet on the bottom, but it does have this front pocket, which is a pocket, but it also has this clutch that is removable. And so you can use this clutch for whatever you want. It has magnetic closure. Inside, it's just uh, an envelope-shaped clutch. But then you can also put it in the bag pocket and just use it in. So that would give you two sections. So you have actually three sections. You have in front of the clutch, in the clutch, or behind the clutch. So if you wanted to separate things lightly, but it's a good size in there. And just a magnetic flap closure. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, let me just put all this back together over here. All right, the next item I got, it's an all set. Um, again, it's faux leather. This is like the gold. It's got rose gold hardware. It has the three set pieces, just like the B set, but it's slightly different shape. It has these extended zippers and they're slightly larger. Um, I guess, probably the same capacity overall because they're bigger on the bottom, smaller on the top, but quilted, which is also different. So they're bulkier, even when empty, but very, very usable. I mean, they're, they're squishy. The middle size, the medium set piece is not quilted. And then let's see with the small set piece. The small set piece is also not quilted, but it does have an embroidered star on it. Honestly, I think overall I prefer the not quilted because they're just a little bit less bulky and a little bit softer. I mean, it is a soft material, but they're beautiful. Okay, so gold metallic is generally not my go-to. I have a couple things like 
um, pearl metallic and whatnot from love so my silvers and golds can certainly go together um, do I really need to put this back in the tissue right now no I'm just gonna for now okay um, but the all sets don't come with straps they don't come with straps um, the tag is on the side on this one um, yeah so they're great but they're they are slightly different they're all single zipper not double zipper so really really nice pieces what I thought was really cool was when I opened it and I look at that versus my bag those even though this isn't metallic I think those totally can go together which is lovely and um, obviously there's a big purse so all of these will fit inside of there so that's cool other things Three of these little charms, and it just says Jujube on both sides. They're just little charms. I got three of those and another um, star keychain. I got a messenger strap in the black and white polka dots. This is the Jujube material. It has a pad in the middle, so it's the dual side adjustable kind. So it adjusts from both sides, and then it has the, the clasps. I do have some things this will go with, and um, not all jujube either, so that's nice. Very, it's, it's got some pad to it. Then, on the top of the black and white, I got a B set, and this I don't have. So I do have black chromatics, and I have the black mischief managed from Harry Potter, and I have a black um, catwalk. But I don't have a plain black B set, which I did want, and that's why I bought the others. But now I have a true and proper black with gold. Um, so there you go. They do also a blackout version that has black hardware. I didn't need that. This is quite nice. And it was part of the blind box. So same configuration B set wise. The inside is that kind of champagne gold. <coughs> Excuse me. And the set piece is just the same as the other. So I could use this strap if I wanted to do a bulky strap and just do it because the gold hardware matches and I could do like a black and white, make it into a purse. Yeah, I could do that. I also got a Be Light in Queen of the Nile. Um, I actually have this bag already. I'll put a link here because I did a What's in My Bag with mine. Um, I am curious now, I'm going to open this up and see if it's version 1 or version 2, and it is version 2. So that's nice, it has a silver. Version 1 had a gold interior. Um, but the Be, the Be Light is a great tote size, It you know, great little, you know, take your library books back if anyone still does that. Um, I use it as a purse, it's got two big slips in the front, it has a zipper closure on top, it has loops here that you can put a crossbody strap on. Um, so definitely good for that. It is very comfortable. It's a slouchy bag, of course. So you just use pouches and things inside. It's very slouchy. But it's machine washable, which is great. And it has one privacy pocket zipper on the back. So very cool. I, I um, may end up gifting this one because I have one already. But my sister-in-law got... A be light in the nightmare before Christmas because that was a gift because she loves the nightmare before Christmas and she used the heck out of it so I may end up I don't know what I'm gonna do with it whether it goes to her or to someone else or maybe I'll sell it I don't know anyway so that is the blind boxes overall pretty good I got pretty lucky I will use all the pieces even if they weren't my first choice of preferences they're still lovely and would be great part of the collection broadening your horizons whether you want to or not and I like that so that's fine hope you're doing great Bye for now.